What is up, fucks? It's me, Jet. Hmm. I'm here to talk to you guys. <laughs> it's been a hot minute, and my bad. Um, I'm going to give you a quick view of um why I've gone radio silent for a hot minute. Um, of course I'm doing physical therapy and it's going really well um, because of, you know, my back surgery. Uh, and we also did something else. <laughs> As you guys know, I have a doggy. His name is Bucky. Let's see if I can get a better shot. There he is. Um, he's purebred German Shepherd. In the litter, he had um, a bunch of brothers and sisters. So, um, they were all given to um, really good owners, except for one of them. The owner realized he couldn't take care of them, so he gave him back to the breeder. And the breeder said, um, um, instead of finding him another home, I'm just going to give him to somebody I know has a good home and takes care of German Shepherds. And my daughter has anxiety and bipolar disorder, so having animals when you have that disorder is like, it's a lifesaver. It's super nice. So, instead of finding another home for the dog, <clears throat> I want you to meet Remy. Remy! This is my daughter's dog, Remy. Hi, Remy. <laughs> um, before anyone says it, yes, I know he's a little underweight and he's a little wild. Um, my daughter's trying to, um, my daughter and the vet are trying to help him. Uh, the guy who had him, he didn't really have time for him. He was in a kennel cage a lot while the guy was working and whatever else. And um, he just really didn't have time for him, which is unfortunate. The dog's beautiful. He's not as good as Captain Fat. Fatso there, but he's a really sweet dog, so it's unfortunate that he wasn't given time, space, or anything like that. My dog's under my table again. He's, you can tell he's been confined for long periods of time, and he wasn't given very many, um, very much love. But my daughter's figuring it out. My daughter is doing actually a really good job taking care of her. We're super proud of her. But yeah, his name's Remington. <laughs> like the razor, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, his name's Remy. He's a bit he's he's a bit of um, a terror. <laughs> he's really calm right now. He's getting better. He's adjusting to everything. Would you like to go outside? Is that what I'm sensing? You like to go outside? <laughs> Let's take him outside. What do you say? Come on. But yeah. I've been dealing with the dogs. <laughs> yeah, he's a terror. So yeah, now our house has four dogs in it. Four. Oi! 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 Yeah, it's torture. I go to physical therapy two days a week. Between that 
the dogs. And we just started our season of the business. You guys don't remember, I run a business with my husband where we throw large scale Nerf battles for kids. Which is really fun. We just joined up um, with two other Nerf clubs in Maryland. We've already done our tournament this year. It was really great. Hmm. Hold on. Are you bossing me around? Look at this. Look at this face. You're yelling. Don't yell at me. stick for him but yeah now we've opened for the summer for my, my husband and me's business yeah things are going pretty well but it's a lot of work a lot a lot of work I really miss you guys though I'm thinking maybe that my content should be <laughs> my business. Let you guys see how <laughs> our business is and see, show you how the kids are happy and stuff like that. But I don't know if you'd enjoy it. Some people don't like Nerf. <laughs> if that's some content you guys would want to see, just let me know. feed you boy you're skinny skinny at least he's got a beach body you know the funniest thing is when we took Remy to get weighed at the our vet he was completely underweight and uh, we took all the dogs to get weighed just to see and you know my dog's super fluffy and looks simply overweight we took my dog, Remy, and my husband's dog. And we were waiting to hear that, you know, my dog's overweight. Well, guess what? My dog wasn't overweight. It was my husband's dog. Well, my husband was saying, your dog's going to be overweight. He's going to need to go on a diet. No, it was my husband's dog. It was amazing. Best validation of my life. <laughs> I think he wanted to say he was overweight because I eat um, these. me and him eat these crackers before we go to bed <laughs> they're called uh, chicken and biscuit <laughs> they're just tasty okay Oh, they're done. I want to go inside now. Come on. Here we go, Bailey. Yeah, but I super miss you guys. It's just, you know, I can't take video at the physical therapy. They said no to that. <laughs> Drop the stick. Stick. Yeah, and they, they asked me, the physical therapist, he goes, you're not saying anything about me, are you? <laughs> I'm like, no, why would I do that? He's like, I don't, I don't know, because I make you do stuff that hurts like hell. I was like, that is true. 
But I'm like, no. I'm not saying bad things about you, I swear. <laughs> I should, though. <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything bad about you. You're all fine and dandy, Marcel. I'll shut that up. <laughs> But no, I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that I'm still alive. <laughs> I just have a lot to do. A lot of everything to do. And it's extremely hard right now. I could start talking about my neighbors. I got some tea about my neighbors you wouldn't believe. The ones across the street, they left. So, no more honking in the middle of the night. Oh, you don't know about the honking in the middle of the night? Girl, let me tell you. Across the street, they used to come at like all hours of the night, honk the horn twice, and a guy would come out and get him weed. Don't know why they still did that. There's dispensaries all over this place. But I guess his shit was the best. But now they're gone. Since they've been gone. Since they've been gone. The two houses next to them. They've been chatting it up. Talking such bullshit. It's crazy. And the woman who walks. Like come home, comes home from work. And just continually walks around the street actually stopped in front of that house and gave a smile when she found out they were gone. So I think they had some beef, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think you guys remember, but last year there's a married couple that were like having marital problems and one of them walked on the other side of the street. Now the woman walks alone, so I'm pretty sure they got divorced. She's a bitch anyway, so it's whatever. And the guy next door to me, on this side, I'm pretty sure he killed his wife. I haven't seen her in like a while. I've seen him yesterday. Her. I haven't seen her in a while. I'll get back to you on that one. Well, that's all I had to say, guys. Miss you, miss you. We have a new German Shepherd. <laughs> He's really good, though. And... I will talk to y'all later. I miss you. <laughs> Bye. Deuces. <laughs>